In this video, I'm going to swap out the short tube heater core for the long tube heater core on my 66 Mustang. What's up guys? My name is Andy. In this video, I need to fix a problem that I created right after I got this car started. You probably remember in the last video where I had started up the car and I had coolant everywhere. Um, I got that fixed and then I cut the video off and right when I was done with that, I looked inside my car and I, I noticed a drip coming from underneath my heater core. And I just got done, you probably remember seeing that video a couple weeks ago, of rebuilding that heater core, uh, the heater core box and, the, and getting that all redone with new parts. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened to it, uh, but when that happens, you gotta kinda stop with everything and put the motor on hold for a second to figure out what's going on there because I can't have that coolant continuing to leak. So, like anybody, I just, you know what, I'm just gonna take it out and see what's going on. I don't know if there's a hole in the core. I don't, I don't know anything about it, but there's coolant leaking from it. And this is a brand, they're brand new parts. This is all brand new stuff. It should have been, should have been pretty easy, but it should have worked. So I took it out and <laughs> as I was taking it out, I, I made a mess everywhere, uh, trying to, to get the, the heater core box out without spilling anything. But I got the, the box out and I took the heater core out and that's this guy right here and I could not find a leak anywhere in this thing. This is just your standard uh, heater core. I, I don't know if it's, if this is just for the 64 to 66 uh, Mustangs or if the later years use this same style, but this is what I had in there. I took it, I could not find a leak on this thing. I don't know what was going on with it. These things are relatively cheap, so I just went ahead and just ordered a new one, put it in the car, same problem. <laughs> <laughs> the, the new one that's in there right now is leaking as well. But this time, I think I know what's wrong with it. If you look at these tubes, see how they're, they're round and fairly circular here at the end, but as you get towards the end caps of this, this core, they see how they kind of taper down and they kind of oval out a little bit. And I'm wondering if maybe the real problem was I put the clamp too far down on the tube, closer to the oval part, and as it's trying to clamp, it can't clamp around an oval like it can around a circle. And maybe that's where the coolant was leaking out. That's the only thing I can think of because when I put it all back in there and it was leaking on the new heater core, I took the clamp off, put a new clamp on, and I moved it toward the, towards this, this, uh, this barbed end here on these heater uh, tubes. Just move it closer to that, Ran the car, no leak. So you think, let's just stop there and be done with it. Don't mess with it. It's not leaking. Everything's good. But really, what I'd rather have are the long tube style. And ironically, when I went to build this heater box, uh, get, every, get all the parts for it, ordered and stuff, uh, that was several months ago when I ordered all that. And <laughs> you couldn't get these because they were, they, you couldn't get them until January. Uh, these these heater cores. You had to get the short tube. That was all that was available. They were two months out or whatever it was on the, the, the back order on these long tube ones. So I went ahead and ordered the short one. I figured I'll just use that. Here we are. After all this, I'm still putting in the long tube, which is really what I wanted to begin with. Partially, this does a couple things. One, this when you put this in the heater core box, if this is where it's sitting, it sits in the car just like this. And these tubes extend through the firewall and then the heater hoses on here only need to go just to the firewall. They don't need to go through the firewall and into the back of the heater box where the short tube setup fits. And one of the nice things about that is that if you ever have to swap this out or replace your heater hose because it's old and tired, you can disconnect everything from right here and you're not going to be spilling coolant inside the car. And I think that's kind of an advantage that I well, I did that on my last Mustang. You guys probably saw that video where, where I put this long tube heater core in my last car. So anyways, long story short, I, I think I fixed the problem. I think it was operator error. I think I'm the one that, that messed that up. And uh, now I'm gonna put in the heater core that I want. So let's go ahead and we'll drain the coolant, get the heater box out and swap this out. This is gonna be pretty simple, pretty easy to do just because we're not 
We're not adjusting anything, we're just swapping parts. So let's get started. So we're gonna take this cap off so we can let the pressure off of the system. And then we're just gonna go down here and we can just twist this. And we'll let that leak out into the bucket. And while we're waiting for that to, to go ahead and drain, let's go ahead and get started working on the heater core box. Now we gotta disconnect the wiring for the heater, fan, motor, there we go. And then we're just gonna take off the 7 16 nuts that'll hold this, this whole assembly into the firewall. All right, while we're up here, let's go ahead and disconnect these hoses that go to the intake manifold and to the water pump. And what you might wanna do is you could put some clamps on the end of these hoses just so that they don't leak anything. Um, if you've got some sort of vice script or something like that, maybe you could fold them over and just clamp them so that it doesn't leak any coolant. Uh, or you may not have that problem depending on how much coolant you got out of your motor. I'm gonna just unplug some of this other stuff just to get it out of the way. And inside the car here, there's a screw right up there. We'll take that screw out and then this thing should drop down and then we'll just have to disconnect the cables once this drops down. Oh, let's take these off. Let's go ahead and take these clamps off that hold the cables in place and they just slide off there and then we don't want to lose these little fasteners and clips because we're going to need that when we put it all back together. And that's off. Now the last one is over here. I'll just take this little guy off. Now this part, you can choose to take the clamps off of the heater hose right here, but you're likely to spill coolant. Uh, I'm gonna try to pull these tubes just through the firewall and hopefully I don't spill anything so we can get this box out of the car. I just put a towel on the end of the tube here. Hopefully I don't spill anything. And this other one. All right, made it, okay. Yeah, it didn't spill anything. I spoke too soon, so I was dragging this over here. I spilled a bunch of coolant on the bottom hose. Okay, so what I wanna do now is I'm gonna disconnect these hoses from the, the back of the heater core, pull those off, and then separate the box, just pulling these clamps off, and then we'll get the heater core out of there and put the new one in and then put it back together. So again, you can see how it's round up here and then it kind of tapers down into this slightly different shape. And I'm thinking that this is my problem. So that long tube uh, heater core will solve that. So now we just gotta put it back together. Now before we push this thing back in place and bolt it up inside, we, don't forget you got to put these cables on. And the nice thing is, is the length of them, they only go in one place. You can't really put this one there because the other one doesn't fit over here. So it is kind of a foolproof way of, of doing it, which is fantastic. So we just put these on there and then make sure we tighten that up, put the clamp on. I 
think we can go ahead and start to push this in place now because we can do the other cable from when this thing's in place. So let's go ahead and put that screw up inside here that holds this thing up. Okay, now that's in place. We can go ahead and plug this in. All right, let me put the vents back on. And everything else is in the uh, engine bay. All right, we can finish putting these nuts on here. Hook up the fan wires. Now you can see the extended heater tubes are sticking right out and we can put a clamp on here. And if we had to, we could put two clamps if, if it was still leaking. But what I need to do now is I'm gonna test fit that heater hose and then we can cut it to length. So on this car, the bottom hose is the one that goes to the top of the manifold. So um, just something to keep in mind when you're fishing this around that you get the, to the hose in the right direction. There we go, and then the hose clamp, we'll slide that over the end here, and we'll just snug it down for now, come back and tighten it when we're done. And the upper hose is the one that goes to the water pump, or the upper line here, so this one's a little bit easier to install. Yeah, that was way easier. Okay, we'll get this clamp in place as well. Okay, so as you're kind of routing this through here, you kind of got to figure out what you want to tuck underneath and where you want to cut it. And maybe we'll get a Sharpie on here and mark this and then we'll cut this, this hose a little bit short so it'll fit on this fitting. We'll do the same thing with this lower hose. We'll mark it, cut it, and we should be good. All right, now I'm just gonna go back and I'm just gonna double check all the clamps, make sure they're nice and tight because I don't want anything leaking again. That's good, that one's good. That one's snug. All right, everything's snug, everything's in place. I think this counts as another win. We don't want to forget to hook up everything that we disconnected. All right, get the, this is the choke wire, and then this is the temperature, temperature wire for the fans. There, now we're looking good. So now I need to just put the coolant back in the car. In this case, I can reuse the stuff that I had because I don't even have any miles on this thing. Just long enough to turn the car on and then I found that leak. So go ahead and put the coolant back in here. And again, the benefit of these, these external tubes or longer tubes is that I can, if I have a leak in something, I can service all this stuff outside the car. I'm not getting coolant all over the carpet like I was uh, when it was dripping everywhere. So. All right, we'll let that bubble down. All right, guys, so that's it. That is putting in the long tube heater core in place of the short tube heater core. Uh, now I can get back to dialing in this carb and getting the motor back on the wheels and on the ground because I am anxious to go drive this car. So guys, that takes care of that. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.